One event in space-time cannot cause another event if they are separated too far from each other in space. The speed of light is a limit to how one part of the universe can influence another. It's a limit on causality. Nothing can travel faster than light. Also, space-time has another unusual property in that two events separated far away in space can have a space-time interval of length zero, as seen from the space-time interval formula when space separation equals time separation. This is what we call a light-like separation in space-time. Most of our examples thus far have demonstrated time-like separation, where the time separation is larger than the space separation in the space-time interval formula. But notice there's another situation if the distance in space is longer than the time separation. We call this a space-like separation. Then the terms on the right-hand side become negative. No need to panic. In this case, we rewrite the equation so that we switch the terms to make the result positive again. So what does this all mean for space-time? We can visualize these scenarios together by partitioning space-time into a light cone with an event A in the middle as our reference point representing the present in time. The actual cone itself is a boundary that is traced out by the limits that light can travel either from point A into the future or to point A from the past. The light cone has a future portion at the top which shows what influence event A can have in the future in space-time. It can influence what happens at event B, since event B is in the future light cone. Event A can also reach the event G with no time to spare, since that requires exactly the speed of light to make it on time. The light cone also has a past component in the lower half of the diagram. Here, event J can influence event A since it is inside the past light cone. Also, event H can reach A with no time to spare. The events within the cones have a time-like relationship with event A. The events on the edge of the cone have a light-like relationship with event A. What about event D? It is outside both the future and past light cones. Event D has a space-like relationship to event A. It can't be reached even if traveling at the speed of light from A. No effect at A can influence the event at D. We say that D lies in absolute elsewhere of A.